Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a makeup tutorial for you guys using the new Natasha Denona Zendo palette. Um, obviously, this is the look that I created. Now, you do not have to have this palette to create this look. You do have to have similar colors. So if you guys are a makeup lover like me and you have quite a collection of palettes, it's kind of easy to find a dupe uh, for the shade that you're looking for. But um, yeah, I really like how this turned out. I feel like it's been forever since I've done uh, a makeup tutorial or even played in makeup for that matter so this was ah, so refreshing and it made me so happy to be able to do it so uh, yeah if you guys want to see how I created this look then just keep watching so starting off this look I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade breathe and I'm gonna put this in my crease Now I'm going to take the shade Mantra and I'm going to pack this mostly on the outer corner and the inner corner and then I'm going to slightly work this into the crease. Now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and go in with the shade Zeal and I'm going to pack this on the outer corner to deepen that up. Now I'm going to pack the color flow right on the center where we cut the crease. I did go back and forth between using my finger and a brush. Um, it just didn't give me the pop that I wanted, but uh, I still think it turned out pretty.
right guys, so that is it. I hope you like the way that this look turned out. I certainly do. Um, it was a lot of fun to create. And <laughs> yeah, um, I did have a review for you guys on the Zindo palette. I just, I had so much going on, I couldn't really get to it. And I just kind of felt like it was too late to put up. So I kind of scrapped that video. I do want to give you my guys my quick thoughts before we go. I think this palette is absolutely beautiful. Obviously the colors in here are stunning. The shadows in here, they do blend really, really well. Um, just a couple little things to note if you are checking out this palette. It's definitely not a beginner palette. Um, although it looks neutral, it doesn't really have those transition shades to make a standard look, shall you say. Um, it has kind of like this one right here and this one right here. But other than that, you would have to go in with a separate palette. If you are fine with that, obviously, then you can make this work. But if you're looking for this to be a one-stop shop, um, this isn't really that kind of palette. I would say there are other Natasha Denona palettes that are a little bit more beginner friendly if you are looking for it. The bronze palette is a really good one. It has an array of like transition colors and shimmer colors and I think that's a really good beginner friendly one. Um, I don't think that takes away from this palette for me personally. I really, really enjoy this palette. I do wish the shimmers would pop just a little bit more than, um, than what they are. I know I have this one on my lid, the flow color, and I really wanted that to just pop, but it, it, even when I sprayed it, it didn't really pop as much as I wanted it to, so that's okay. It's still beautiful. I still like the way that it turned out, and yeah. If you guys did like this video, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.